Welcome back, everyone, to Zero or Nano. Or, welcome back, everyone, to the Zero K Grand Finale December 2018 1v1 tournament. And we are into the quarterfinals, and into the quarterfinals between Wesley and Steel Blue, starting on Quicksilver, apparently. I am that going is the map Frog. for this round. Hello. Yep. So we're starting on Quicksilver, which is this game. This tournament really seems to be about playing all of the maps. Good or bad, just play all the maps. That seems to be Shaman's entire idea, or Shaman's entire idea. I think people actually suggested maps, and he sort of shuffled them around and put them into a lineup. Right, right, you're right, that's what happened. So this was suggested by Wesley. Oh, interesting. And he's playing, so... Yes, you're I'm right. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, it is loser picks the next map. So, of course, best of three. Whoever whoever loses picks map two, and then that bases on what's what else is being done. So, yeah. So, we're seeing stories of flea meta. We are seeing stories of flea meta. And we're seeing stories of people responding to flea meta. And I'm not really sure what to think about that, because fleas, on the one hand, haven't really been that powerful. And I think... They honestly were underrated to my in my experience because, as I mentioned earlier, fight move on fleas massively improves freeze, massively improves flea power because they don't rush right next to the thing they're shooting and die on the death explosion. Yeah. Like that was the only buff you really needed for fleas is just use fight move. Oh, the game already started. Crap. I am so blind. Yeah, you're not. I'm sorry. I thought I. Oh, I'm watching. I'm watching wow. Flea Meta. I am. Sorry, everyone. All right. Super professional tournament. I know. All right, let's go. So, yeah, we have... Wait, what? It... The game ended. What? Oh, yeah. Early flea Wesley just overbuilt, kill... overbuilt um, Weaver. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. I, think. I missed that, but all right. I guess that's game one. Uh... <laughs> wow, I'm sorry, guys. I could have actually been watching that, but apparently I didn't see that the start button was not a start button and a rejoin button. Ah, uh, well. Ah. Uh. Alright, so we're not going to be playing a Quicksilver for game two, because it'll be game two in a sec. On what whatever do they map have? that... Well, let's see, for... Many options. They have many options. Just thinking of what they want to go for, for their actual option, for these players. I think Ravaged seems likely to me. I think I'm going to have to... I don't know. No, Island Sonia. Okay. Never mind. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Is that how you pronounce it? You have to ask Sprang. I've actually never pronounced this map. I've always pronounced it Island Sonia. Or Island Sonia. I guess I have two pronunciations. <laughs> Either way. I think I said... I don't know. When I read words that are weird, I don't pronounce Island them. Oh, yeah, that's that word. Aiden Sonia. If I Aiden didn't Sonia. guess, we'd be like... Ansonesia, but that's completely not what the word is. And where'd you get that last S? You know, ends in IA. I, I guess, but Sounds NIA like isn't, doesn't... It's, it's NIA, not SIA. So I'm confused. Anyway, let's get to... Get to match two. And actually, okay, we are... On Ad and Sonia, which we have seen a lot. Wesley picked this, which means he yep. wants to be the one playing Hovercraft. Still which blue is... acquiesces and plays Hovercraft. Yeah, I mean, since the Archer nerf, I mean, it would have been Amphbots two weeks ago, but nope, Archers are no longer apparently useful, so now it's Hovercraft. All day, every day. And Daggers, all map. day, every day. Uh, yeah. I'm not on sure this, how I well mean... this map is balanced. I would probably... I don't know, because, I mean, this map is weird. I've seen so many games in this map, 
And I've seen people successfully use Amphbots and Spiders and Shields. Not really Hovercraft so much, but it's weird. Like, it's a weird mix of factors that seem to work in this map. The main thing that I've found to be a constant on this map is that the center becomes bogged down to hell. Once you yeah, get in the mid game. Yeah, you have to raid the sides. Well, yes, if you know to raid the sides, it's actually not so bad. But oftentimes, if you're watching people at like the super giant level, roughly, it's usually just this trench warfare in the middle of the map for 15 minutes. You don't use. So we have similar things going on. Steel blue is slightly greedier than. Uh, Wesley at the moment. Well, we saw that in the last series too, where Steel Blue was just way greedier than 400. Or at least in the last game, the second game in Ravage, not so much, but yeah, here, Steel Blue, man, they're really going for it. And they're pulling off too. Make sure the dagger is. going yeah. for wind instead of reclaiming the trees. Going which can titles, be pretty good. Specifically, yeah. Yeah, titles. I, I'm not sure what to think about that. I mean, normally I would say a great idea, but. Since Hovercraft are on the table, it's possible for Steel Blue just to go around the side, and I mean they probably won't, which is probably what Wesley's banking on. You can get a turret on the hill, turret on the hill, and look at that—he right. jumped over, which is a nice little sort of build order. Yeah, that's actually something I've seen. If people go for jump bots, you see that sometimes, or spiders yeah, as well. I get neat. that too. But the one thing is that, like most of the time, people do not harass up the fjord. That's rare. But if Steel Blue does do that then that'll be interesting and different. But I I don't know. I'm not really sure what to expect here. Well, at any rate, Steel Blue doesn't manage to do any real harassment, so Wesley's, Wesley's got their daggers in good position, able to push back, and at the same time, Wesley is able to start evening out the economy, but Steel Blue has really gone in the expansion faster. Yeah, it looks like Steel Blue is... I mean, they're doing alright, but... Yeah, I, I like know. Steel Blue's structure. Wesley seems sort of naked. Which is efficient. They haven't built any solar collectors because they've got some win some um, titles. They're being efficient. They are. But it's quite precarious. I Whereas think Steel expecting... Blue's got sort of standard little fortresses with turrets in them. Yeah, I mean, Steel Blue's been playing that the entire time, which... This is the first time it's really paid off for them, honestly. And even then, I'm not sure, because right now, Wesley... I mean, for one thing, they don't have a lot of energy. So, yeah, they're... It's precarious, but more so, it's getting a lot of excess. Whereas the way this uh, is playing... Much. They're reclaiming and building some more. Okay, well, that's, that'll work all right. So far, they've accessed 100, according to the graph. Probably to go up. Yeah, it'll, they'll be accessing for the next 10, 15 seconds. So I'm guessing it'll be probably about 200 by the time dust settles. Steel Blue's using the, re the uh, reclaim a lot more. And that's not surprising. Honestly, I am kind of surprised Wesley hasn't used the reclaim that much. I wonder if they're thinking that they're going to do it later in the game. Like they start reclaiming no, a bunch a of it. Nope, there it is. Okay, there it is. Still an I think both situation. players have um, different halves of a really neat, tight build order here, but neither are actually <laughs> doing the full one. Although yeah, Steel having... Blue's got his commander all the way over to the left, which may even be better than jumping. Not sure. It's debatable, because on the one hand, jumping does get you to that that really defensible and southwest expansion quite quickly. But on the other hand, over the west side of the map, you do basically get to the center pretty quick, and there's not much stopping you. And it's a commander against daggers, so it's pretty well defended. Oh yeah, with the new Lotus stuff, that's going to be no problem at all. Of course, at the same time, Steel Blue is managing to get a lot of damage in just out microing Wesley's daggers. Wesley's okay. commander has low health, you know, being a recon commander. Yeah, but, but with probably the beam beats laser? this off. No, this isn't going to be a problem. Those will take four. Like, the daggers would take at Although best four they shots get to kill. That's a real pain. Yeah, they do. That's 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 the metal -like tracker's <clears throat> gone. Oh no, not quite. One now. of the daggers is dead. If there were four daggers, it'd be fine. But there's three daggers, so. Probably the metal extractors could be saved if these daggers actually moved in and Wesley didn't have them just spectating. But no, the daggers did not move in. Because that would have actually saved it. But no, this is... One metal extractor survives, so that's better, but... Oh, that would have been... If those daggers had moved in from, Steel, from Wesley, Steel Blue wouldn't have been able to deal any damage at all. 
because three daggers does not one-shot a metal extractor. Four does, three doesn't. So it was still some really good oh, opening defense. Uh, of course, that makes sense. I'm Wesley is moving into heavier things. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't have a mace sooner, blue. honestly. And oh, still blue. are we going to see the dagger forward? Oh, we might, but Wesley's already on that. Well, sort of. Yeah, Wesley's, Wesley's waiting for the wind generators to be destroyed first, and then it's going to defend. Uh, the wind generators will explode when they die, damaging the opponent's daggers. Assuming the daggers are too close, yes. Yeah, but it's a thin forge, so they're going to be pretty close. That's, That's the, the genius. Although, how big is it at the explosion? It's not that big. Compared to their range? Hmm. It's oh, yeah, they're not going to know it's there. The Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. Although he's avoiding it quite well, be on the left. Yeah, that's, that's clever. Yeah, I think I don't think they took any damage, actually. So if those lotuses were on kills. the hill, the cliffs, they'd be unassailable and defend the wind generators. Yeah, that that's a shame. But Although if you look mid, Steel Blue lost a large army of daggers against Wesley's slower army. We've got five yeah. scalpels, which is quite an investment. And against the daggers, that's risky. The daggers, sh I mean, they're not in the best position to deal with scalpels just because the they aren't great at countering scalpels. I would get halberds instead, but still, it's not they're bad okay for what they are. You outnumber them, but right, if you're fighting, yeah. if you're fighting five units that cost three times as much as your five units, you're gonna have a problem. Yeah. Well. It's going to come down to me to exactly the positioning here. And I like how Wesley's transitioned into it. A sort of strong army. But is going poorly economically. Which is a problem. Yeah, I think what Wesley's thinking is that they just can't build up enough daggers to win the raiding game. So they're just going over to dealing with... Oh, I see. Steel Blue switched. Early air. Actually, not that early. But this could be it. Because it is surprisingly early for what's going on. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got the scalpels coming in here, but they're not really flex AA, so no, no real option unless flails get built up, and that's not likely to happen. Not before this entire army is destroyed, thanks to the Thunderbird. Maze coming in here for Wesley, trying to save things, and it might be able to, but honestly, it looks like just a little bit too... It's a bit too late. Two scalpel goes down, Maze goes down. Several daggers are Saving lost in the process, is pretty but... Good. Yeah, that's true. At the end of the day, Wesley does still manage to save their army reasonably well. And that's sort of so, the air reveal. They have to not line up, though. Ah, yeah. Sadly, that didn't happen. Still, a lot more scalpels coming uh, in even, here. Even though. Yeah, these scalpels coming in here should be able to defend against the daggers reasonably well. Daggers but have at the same quite low damage, so they're not all that good with Thunderbird. Right, which is why I was saying before, like halberds would be the way to go here as a, as a response point. Or follow-up unit. Halberds but... are more for tanking. Hover yeah. doesn't have anything that's that great with Thunderbird. Due to their, well, their DPS. You, really, for Thunderbird, you want DPS, so you want like Scorcher or Glaive is the best thing to pair. Right, but I'm just thinking for Hovercraft, the Halberd has 150 DPS or 125 DPS. Does it? Yeah. Oh, Maze would be another good option. Low. No, according to stats, it's 150. Daggers are 33. Yeah, Maze true. would be the best option, but it's not there right now. It's, there is one right in front, but it's otherwise not there. Now the rarely seen. Two Thunderbird strategy. Oh, and it's being used well, too. It's being used very well. Yeah. That was an amazing double Thunderbird. I like I how the Thunderbird nerf means that you actually need two Thunderbirds sometimes. Right, but it's it also like, means that players I'm actually have to micro up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Now well, the dagger's doing their job. Being... Yep, there's some flails, but a bit too late. I think Steel Blue's just been winning on economy for the last three or four minutes they have though i i am impressed the way wesley did switch off but those thunderbirds just ended it i think if those thunderbirds yeah. weren't there wesley would have been able to win just by army composition and then turn that into territory and turn that into money but the attrition was quite equal equal as well yeah so overall i think it just came down to the thunderbird really but still blue just sort of looked solid they did there wasn't an easy way for wesley to raid in they couldn't get in the round the back because of all the lotuses the only thing wesley could have really done is pushed back the center, taken the southeast, and really secured their own expansions, and then built up from there, on an even footing, economically. And well-timed air. 
yes, that that was that won it. Like I said, Steel Blue winning on a nice timing attack off the Air Switch. So I'm moving on to game two, and I'm curious what we're going to be seeing Wesley pick because this is game three. Oh, you're right. Wait, what? I stupid. Why is the scoreboard? Remember the the flea spam two minute game. Right. Sorry, I thought for some reason the scoreboard had been up to date properly. Well, anyway, I'll fix that up for the next game. Apparently, Kingstad beat Gotti two zero. Really? Nice. According to this um, scoreboard thing. Huh. All right. Well, that's really good for Kingstad and also kind of surprising. And I now I kind of wish I had been watching that. It's like both the Kingstad games. Thinking, man, I should have watched that, but then you got technical problems, so I didn't. <laughs> All right. So moving on to game three on a map of Wesley's choice. Yes. From a limited pool. From a limited pool. but A limited pool of small rush maps because if it's game three... Yep. Well, we're small rush maps and alien desert. And alien, well, and alien desert isn't too big. And hide and seek. Hide and seek is not a rush map. Yeah, you're right. That can go a while. Same with Tangled Ismus. It's small, but it's not a rush map. And Tangled, no, it's just jank. It's just pure yeah. a janky map. Oh, yeah. It's like it's six pretty. by four. It's something like that. But it takes forever. Or at least it, it can take forever. It can either take forever or it takes two minutes. It's weird. Can it? I don't know. I haven't played it in years. We got rid of it. Yeah, for good reason. <laughs> but hey, someone wanted it, so and there you go. Also, I think Glacies is like a 14 by 14 map. Or something Wait a minute. Big. There's no pick map. What? Yeah, it's 2-0. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, my bad. Wow, this scoreboard broke on me. That's why. I think because I watched that first game and it didn't quite update and it went... just didn't... That's that's never happened oh, before. Oh, okay. I'm watching the, um, the challenge. It hasn't been updated yet. Oh, that wasn't semifinals. That was quarterfinals. My bad. Ugh, so I, we have Steel I am doing Blue the tournament entirely wrong. Kingstad. Yeah, that's the semifinal. The semifinal. And drone with so whoever wins out of the four, <laughs> two rounds behind. Yeah. So Kingstad versus Steel Blue is going to be up next. Hopefully. Then we'll catch up with round three. Wait, it is 1-1? One, one? I am so confused. Okay, apparently Steel Blue is one. I don't even... Hey, Kingstad got it disappeared. I no. think we have to... Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Do you want to watch Kingstad got it? Yeah, let's do that. We're on hide and seek. It's been going sure. for three minutes. Let's go... Okay, this is going to be a long game. Where is... Hide... Okay, found it. It's round two, game two. Okay. Man, this is going to be so confusing for people watching on YouTube. I'm going to have it set up by which round it is, but... Oh, it's just quarterfinals. I should probably actually do it correctly, not semifinals. But yeah, people on YouTube, this is the quarterfinals of a different series than the last two games series. So, sorry if it's mildly confusing. The description should have it evened out. So... Here is Flea Meta, which you'd expect on Hide and Seek if you would, if you expect it anyway. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And God is dealing with it, or they're trying to. I mean, they're playing Cloaky, so they've got a reasonably good set of tools to deal with Flea Meta. Uh, so Kingstad is walking just right across the map. Yep, that's Kingstad. With his commander. Oh yeah, they do that sometimes. They just they just go and... into the commander. Gode has. Oh, this is actually really good for King's Dad. Oh, between the beam laser on the commander and this red back support, Gota doesn't have anything to counter this with. They don't have any Ronin. Their glaives are going to be useless. There is nothing available for Gota to actually fight this with other than their own commander. And I'm not even sure that's, that's going to be enough. That's the factory down, for sure. Oh, yeah. That factory's done. The commander might be able to maybe save this, but I think King's Dad's going to get this just off of this opening. Ooh, what's the red back <gasps> doing? What? The red back? No! No! What are you doing? What are you doing? 
I mean, the factory's still dead, but, oh, that's, that is a shame. That factory... Come on, come on, Kingstead, just kill the factory. You and can Gordon's jump away out. focusing on that anymore. I mean, they've, they've lost their own base, too. Thanks yeah. to line of sight. Oh, if this Lotus is terraforming, like, seriously, hit the B button and then do stuff and terraforming. Oh. <laughs> nah, nah, they buried the glaive. It's okay. <laughs> I have never, okay, I mean, they had to, but that is the first time I've ever seen any unit lighter than 2,000 metal get buried. Yeah, well, Glaive's pretty pretty powerful in the um, spider cloaky. You're right, I mean, Sometimes Glaives are a riot unit in the spider matchup, but still, that is not something I would have expected. Amazing, a really good strategy, a really good choice of move, but still. Just... I was thinking he was going to raise it, raise it into laser range. I was thinking they were actually going to be building up a raised lotus or something instead. Wait, what? Oh, God is How? trying to... Ooh, he's oh, got they it. forced firing. Oh, that is clever. Force. I think Kingstad... Okay, I think they... Nope! Not in, not in time. Kingstad managed Hit to rebuild the some stuff. The but, yeah. Wow. I wonder if Goda turned collision volumes on, like debug collision volumes on, to see what was happening. Like, to make sure, can I actually hit this button? No, he I can't. Expect... The, glaive, the glaive couldn't even see that. It was just in a hole and it could see nothing. It just knew the fact right. that he, um, God, he knew the fact he was there and that maybe it is overhanging slightly. Well, I mean, Kingstack can at least get the reclaim off of God's base and then use that to rebuild their own factory. Getting a gunship plan instead. The thing is, God already has a factory. Right, yeah. I think it looks like Kingstad's getting up storage too, so I'm guessing Kingstad is assuming partly that they want to make sure they don't lose to excess. But also, I think they're God, expecting yeah, their commander Kingstad's to die. going to reclaim God his base. They're going to try, but I think Kingstad is expecting to die. Like, they're expecting to lose their commander because they've already got the storage built up. No, I'm not sure what that was. Well, at any rate, the rushes are over, and I guess we have a game now. Well, no, now it's a um, gunship cheese. Oh, wait. Oh, that's against true. It's a well gunship cheese now. Base. Ah, uh, he should have should have raised the glaive. Would have put it in lotus range. Yeah, yeah. But oh well. Now we have a giant pit in the ground. I mean, so I was kind of hoping. Oh wait, this map doesn't have water on it. Wouldn't be enough. I was about to say. About to say I was kind of hoping it would dig it down enough that it would get to the water, but that's not going to happen. It does actually have water. Look at the bottom of the pit. It does. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it's a little bit deeper. Would have been fine. But that's going to well, be game. Well, except that you can't oh, right. build a realized. deep thing under the foundations of a structure. We are here at the... Yeah, this is game three, by the way. So, last win, and that is going to be it. That is going to be Gorda moving on. Valiant effort by Kingstad. I mean, that almost worked. The cheese... Hey, if they managed to successfully cheese out Gorda, that would have been Kingstad moving on. Which would have been quite the upset. But no, Gorda takes it. Pretty fair yeah. and square. And that's going to be it. But yeah, that glaive was further down. Man, that would have been enough. That would, that would have done it. Because then it would have been a bunch of redbacks coming in here, and that would have been it. And that would have been game. But nope. So, Kingstad losing 2-1 to Dr Gota. And that means we're going to have Steel Bloom Gota in the next in the semifinals. It'll be first semifinals. As we're waiting for the second semifinals, quarterfinals to even be done. So we'll get on to that after a short break. So stay tuned. <laughs> 